Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Vanessa here and I am back to give you guys a full blown glam here. I have decided to play with a little bit of color on the lids using some of my favorite palettes. So if you are interested in seeing me just get ready because I haven't, you know, worn makeup in a while, then go ahead and just keep watching. Wow. So I already have on the brows. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some primer. This is the Too Faced Peach and Primed, Primed and Peachy Primer. It has a cooling matte sensation to it. I really like it. And I just apply that to areas where I know I get oily, which is right here on my face, my nose area, and my chin and my smile lines right there. I try to keep it away from the outer portions of my face just because I don't really get oily there. It's really dry actually. And I've also moisturized using some Shea Souffle. I got this from the Beauty Supply. It says it's 100% natural shea butter, but it's not super thick. I don't really think it's natural, but I do love it on the skin. And it does leave really, really soft. So if your local Beauty Supply has this, I got the Vanilla Coconut Scented One. It's perfect. And then I'm going to just apply my foundation, you guys. How are you? I'm well. Thanksgiving was amazing. Spent it with my family. I like to put a little bit on the back of my hand. I wanted to take just a flat foundation brush and kind of just rub this in. Lately, I have been loving brushes to apply a foundation instead of my beauty blender. It just makes it look more full coverage. It's the Studio Fix by MAC. And this is in the shade NC45. So lately I have been applying a concealer that's a little bit closer to my shade first. And this is the LA Girl, listen, this is a oldie but a goodie. And this is in the shade Fawn. And I like this concealer because it actually conceals. But it's the color of my skin tone. So if I'm not feeling too, oh gosh, I want a huge highlight. This is perfect, especially around my mouth because I have a dark mouth. You know, and I don't really like that. Apply it on the lid in between the brows. It just conceals really nicely. See, it doesn't really add any color, just coverage. And to blend that out, instead of using my beauty blender to do this part, I like to just continue with the same foundation brush. Just to make sure everything's nice and blended. But I love the way it applies foundation. Like, look at that. The foundation and the concealer is just really nice and really in. And then on top of that, just to brighten me up because I do want to brighten, I'm gonna apply the Tarte Shape Tape. And this is in the, the shade Tan. I really like Tan Sand, but they were out. The tan is good. And it's a really light concealer. You guys can see, and I like to keep it concentrated under the eyes. I don't like to tear it up, bring it up because I don't want it to go that far. A little bit go a long way trust me i'm just going ahead and dabbing this out and one thing i have been noticing lately is that when i apply warm water to my beauty sponge it applies my concealer better than with cold water so if you are a person who likes to blend your concealer make sure you use warm water and as you can see it really brightened me up i'm too bright but I bring, I bring myself back to life, don't worry. I love the Tarte sponges. I think they're super, super soft. So what I'm doing is just taking my foundation brush and just blending out the edges of that concealer to make sure it's nice and blended in. You don't want to look like Ghostface Killer. All right, so now that I have my foundation on as much as I would like, I'm gonna go ahead and powder the face. Powder my face, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, and this is in the shade Medium Deep. And it is about a little bit lighter than me, but not too, too much, but I really like it. I think it's super full coverage, so beware, because sometimes I find myself going a little bit overboard. So to apply, I like to use a brush, and I'll just kind of dab it into the skin and set the makeup. Because when you apply too much, you end up looking like a powdery fool. But it works really well. And it's a drugstore product, by the way. 
So I'm going to take this brow product. It's Salon Perfect. I got it from Walmart. It's just a brow powder. And I really like this one because I like the color of it. It's not too red and it's not too black. It's like just right. And I use this to make lines. And then I'm going to take some brow gel. And I'm going to use this on the brows and lift them up a little bit just to make them look really real. Because sometimes they can look like two blocks on your face. And it keeps the hairs in place. I've been using the MAC Studio Fix powder. And this is in the shade NW45. So for my foundation, I use NC45. And in W, it just means it's a little bit warm. So what I'm doing is just rubbing it in circular motions right on top of my cheekbones. Just to bring some color back into my skin. And I'm just using a powder, like a little fluffy brush to do this. See, it doesn't really add too much, but just enough. I absolutely love this powder. It's super, super soft. And a little goes a long way. So I just use this on the perimeter of my face. So anytime you have a foundation that really doesn't match you, it's always good to have a powder that's darker than you to kind of bronze up the skin. Because as you guys can see, I went a little bright on the highlight today. But that's okay. Because I have this bronzer to kind of heat me up. This isn't a bronzer, this is really a foundation. To deepen it up a little bit, I'm going to take my CoverGirl Queen Collection Ebony Bronzer. I'm just adding a little bit to the cheeks. Just a little. And then one thing that I have been doing lately is I'll take I'll take my brush that I use for my eyes and I'll go in with this bronzer just a little bit and I will use this to deepen up the sockets of my lids. And I'm using the MAC 224 to do this. And what this does is just acts as a transitional shade and a contour for the eyes and nose. And I don't use a lot of it because like I said, ladies and gents, it goes a long way. And I like to just bring it down on my nose for a contour. And I'm not going to apply any more. I think I've applied too much even now. So for my blush, I'm going to use Max Telling Glow. And this is like one of my go-to everyday blushes that I absolutely love. And I like to literally apply it right there on the cheeks. Because it's really like a highlighter. But it has like a little bit of a color into it. I'm going to zoom you guys in because I heard your request. I know you guys want to see me do eyeshadow up close. So I've listened. So I'm going to bring you in and then we're going to continue with these eyes. I'm going to take my Makeup Shayla Perception Palette. And I'm going to go in with my favorite two shades. And that is Culture and Thick. And I use both of these as a transitional color. Right on the lids. Right on top of that bronzer. But like any color can be added to the lids once you apply those two shades. I don't know why, but those two shades just really, really work for my eye shape and my skin tone. This is a smaller brush. This is a Morphe M514. It's like a little small crease brush. And I'm going to take played out right here. A little powdery, so beware. And I'm going to just put this on the outer corners of my lids here. Keeping it concentrated. And um, these brushes force you to take your time. Too Faced palette here. And I'm gonna pick up Decadent, which is a, this, the, the blackest black I can find, really. And I'm going to use this on top of that color. So make sure you tap off excess because you do not want to get this on your foundation.
and I'm doing this because I really want my eyeshadow to be super intense. And I'm really just placing before I swipe to get the desired pigment I want. And then I'm going to just blend out the edges with that same brush, keeping it in the crease, not going above. All right, so I'm done with the black. I'm gonna go back into the Perception palette and I'm gonna pick up Culture and Thick again. And I'm gonna just use it on my outer corner just to make sure everything is still nice and blended. Bringing it up to the brow bone up here, but still keeping it blank at the end of the brow just so we can have a seamless you know, kind of. So I'm feeling it. I'm loving it. I'm feeling good. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. So for the lid color, what am I going to do? And this is the Saharan by Julia's Place. You guys know I'm a Julia's Place. Like, this is my fave. So I'm going to go in with the shade Iman which is this really blue shade i'm gonna apply that on the lid i wonder what it's gonna look like with the black what do you guys think we're gonna check it out the mac 247 it's a flat brush to apply my concealer very carefully because you do not want to mess up going in with the shade chad and I'm using that as kind of like a diffuser between the concealer and my black shadow. That makes sense. And I'm just using that same Morphe brush that I used in the crease earlier, the M541. And I'm just really keeping this concentrated in the crease and the outer lid, kind of bringing it in so that when I apply the lid color, it really stands out. Go in with this shade here, it's called Iman. I'm really afraid of it, I'm not even gonna lie. You know what guys, I'm really not feeling it. So we're gonna try something different. On top of that blue, I'm gonna add this matte pigment and it's in the shade Blue Brown. It's just like a rich blue. And this just looks way better to me. And it blends better with the black. I guess that other blue acted as a base. Right. So now that I have that blue on, I'm feeling super satisfied with it. Like I don't feel like I'm gonna have to take this off. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some more chat, do this dark shade on the outside of the lid, just to make sure everything is nice and blended. This is the Kiss New York Luxury Eyeliner. All right, so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a small shader brush and I'm gonna go back in with the Chad and I'm going to place that on my lower lash line to kind of set that shadow in place so that it doesn't go anywhere. Cause you know, sometimes our eyes get watery. Pick up Jamila, I think, yes, yeah, this little like, orangey shade. And I'm gonna place that along my lower lash line as well just to really make it smoky. See that? Oh, living. Living, living, living. This mascara is called Man Eater and it's by Tara. Isn't this packaging super cute? And I'm gonna use this to just coat the lashes really nicely. So, 
for lashes. I'm going to be using my Kiss 3D lashes. You guys know I love these. They're so amazing. I'm going to apply the Maybelline Master Chrome in my inner corners. Right there. Just because it's so pretty. And then I'll just apply a little bit on my brow bone. Just a little because this can get really serious in right here. And then I like to just open my eyes, look down, and tack it on in the middle, and then the sides. Just poke it in the middle, right? And literally apply it. And then attack on the side, attach the sides on. Right, so the lashes are on, and I feel like they totally just complete the look. And I'm so grateful that MAC Pigment is the one that saved the day. Look at that pigment on the lace, it just looks so gorgeous. The first setting spray, and this is not really setting spray, this is just like Fix Plus. And I just re recommend that you get this just because it makes your skin glow, especially if you have dry skin in the cold weather. So I'll spray that on. And while that's drying, I will take my highlighter, and any highlighter will do. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Master Chrome And apply with a fan brush and this brush came out of that morphe collection i was telling you guys about top of the lips nose and i like to apply highlighter on the cheeks it just does something to the makeup i don't know what and now to seal the deal to make sure everything is nice and pretty, I like to take my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. It's amazing. This is like one of my favorite things and I love the way it sprays, watch. Kiss New York Luxury Lip Pencil, not eyeliner, in Rosette Coffee. And I like to apply it underneath the lips just to add more fullness. So. Monzi Cosmetics. I'll link it in the, I will link it in the description and it's in the shade Pink Kitty. You guys know I am a glossy type of chick, so I'm gonna add some gloss on top. Add some gloss. This is the NYX Butter Gloss and Fortune Cookie. Yeah. And it's all out. I need to go shopping for more lipsticks. Badly. I'm feeling it. This will work for now. Okay. Ooh, hey B. She's here. Time to change it up a bit. Change it up with some hair, you know, because I'm about to be 28. Yes, your girl's gonna be 28. So I just wanted to look super glam. Can't let up. Can't look crazy. Can't look ugly. So yeah, try some colors. Step outside of your comfort zone, ladies. And let me know in the comments below what you guys think. 